If you're looking for something to surprise you, to kind of throw you off guard, this is definitely a movie that will do it. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little review on Malice from 1993. Now, if you're looking for a mystery, if you're looking for something to surprise you, to kind of throw you off guard, this is definitely a movie that will do it. I would be pretty impressed if you were able to, within the first 10 or 15 minutes, tell me everything that's gonna happen in the movie because it definitely does twist and flip around quite a bit. So let's jump into the pros I have with this movie. The pros is that it has multiple twists to it. It, which I really like. This movie has like two kind of mysteries to it. The main story, the main mystery doesn't really reveal itself as a mystery or as a problem till about halfway through the film. I think the film starts off with somebody getting murdered. About halfway through this movie, maybe even two thirds, you find the answer to the original killer. It's a very interesting little side story because it's almost like a mystery within a mystery there's kind of like a much more interesting mystery going on with the three main characters the acting was overall good like i don't have a problem with anybody's acting and i gotta say i was absolutely blown away by nicole kidman in this movie because Nicole Kidman can oftentimes play a very quiet, very simple kind of girl, and she plays that very well. But in this movie, she has to go to some extremes with acting, and it's amazing that she could pull it off. She looks like she's like 22 in the movie, and she has like by far the best intense acting scenes that I've seen from anybody in this movie. I don't know if I could show you too many of those scenes because, you know, it's in a heated moment. You might find out some of the secrets, but wow, wow, was I just blown away by her performance. And then another little thing I liked, and maybe this is just me, it had a lot of little cameos. Like I think Gwyneth Paltrow's in here. She looks super young. I feel like this is probably her first movie or one of her first movies. You have Sandy Cohen from The O.C. I think his name is Peter Gallagher. Always love seeing this guy. Haven't really seen him in a long time. And it's interesting, he plays a lawyer in this movie and he plays a lawyer in The O.C. So I like that. And then also you have Jigsaw in this movie from Saw. So I liked all the little cameos. Really the main takeaways, it's got a really good acting, especially Nicole Kidman. It's got multiple twists that, you know, give you multiple things to guess on, multiple things to be like, oh, I had no idea it was going this way and it did. Just what I came here for, I appreciate it for that. My mixed aspects is I'm a little bit mixed on the murder mystery in the beginning because it doesn't have much to do with the main story. It seems like it should take precedence, but it's just kind of something that goes on in the background and just kind of gets resolved in a very anticlimactic fashion. So although it is nice to have someone end up being this killer, you get to guess who it is, and then you have a whole nother mystery afterwards, I just kind of didn't see how it fit in the movie. You know, it's just kind of like an extra thing thrown in. That's why I put it in mix, because I don't hate it, but I don't really 100% know if it was the best move they could have done. All right, so let's jump into my cons I have with this movie. And it is very, very slow in the beginning. You don't really know what's really happening. At one point, there is some turmoil between the three main characters, Alec Baldwin, Nicole Kidman, and Bill Pohl. Things kind of get more intense from that situation. But until that happens, it's kind of very simple, very slow. It ends up kicking off, so I appreciate it. The last half is great. Some of the twists here are really far-fetched. I'm not gonna get into any specifics, but there's one person who permanently does something to their body just to get some sort of monetary gain or to make their BS strategy slash plan believable. And it just doesn't seem smart or like why would anybody ruin part of their body to pull this off. It just, it was a little far-fetched. The whole thing was a tiny bit far-fetched, but at the same time, everything matched up in the end. And then another thing I don't like about this movie is, I'm gonna be honest with you, Bill Pohl. I don't mind Bill Pohl as like a guy working in like an office, but besides that, like uh, he doesn't do very much extra for me. I don't wanna root for him. Nothing against Bill Pohl. He made his way, he made money, he's successful. He's not a bad actor but I can't watch him as like the main role, main character. I watched one called like Lost Highway where he was the main character. And then I've watched this one and it's like, I just can't get on board with this guy. He's like, he has a personality, but he doesn't. The fact that Bill Pohl was the, one of the leads here was very difficult for me. 
It's also very dated. I would say even more dated than something like Die Hard, which came before it. You look at Speed that came out a year after. Speed looks like it came out 10 to 15 years after this movie. Then the last thing, and again, this is just me, something about the really old Alec Baldwin movies where he's kind of like the star or the lead. I love him as an actor, love him. But there's just a vibe to his movies to where I just can't get into it fully. I don't know why. But then you fast forward to say 2017 or whenever they did the Mission Impossible movies. He gives one of the best speeches in Mission Impossible history. Love it. He's great in the Mission Impossible movies. Something about him in the older movies I just can't get into. So if I were to rate this movie, guys, I'd probably rate it between a 7.5 to an 8. Maybe I'll just stick with a solid 7.5. By try or pass, I think this is a try if you're somebody who likes mystery movies and doesn't mind a more dated movie with a little bit of a slow beginning. It really does have something special for you if you do like mysteries. So anyways, guys, have you seen this movie? Have you not seen this movie? Is there any unknown mysteries that I haven't reviewed or that you like? I'd be very interested to see down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.